Arable land through overuse is less and less suitable with ever depleting natural nutrients. This depletion is resulting in an ever declining quality of harvest. Quantity may be maintained at present, but the quality struggles to satisfy hunger or provide a balanced health. It is similar with words. They also display a declining certitude and weight, and our speech is drifting into a mindless empty talk. We throw our words around and overload each other with their filth and decomposition. We want to empty ourselves of their rotting smell, but the words stick to our souls like dust and dirt, and feeling clean evades us. Our gossip, criticism and blame stick to us like the paper tissue accidentally washed with the black laundry that leaves tiny but permanent spots everywhere. And like our agriculture, we surround ourselves with thoughts that lack substance, cannot bear good fruit or offer any nutrients, thoughts that cannot be easily digested. Yet, if the soul is full of genuine longing, there are fields of fullness where one can be fed by the seeds and grains of perfect flowers, whose oils will smooth the heart and the mind. Lady Sunflower has on her corolla whole rows of seeds arranged ornamentally. All her life she turns her face to the sun, transforming herself from a simple yellow flower into a nutty treasure, until at last her oils become the vital fruits of her self-sacrifice. Her oils glisten like the gold of the soul. It is similar to the spiritual path. By their fruit you shall know them. If the oil of the soul is refined and pure enough, it can feed and nourish the heart and the mind through its sacrifice. If the grain is the genuine seed, it will nourish and can be further distilled into an oil of its pure essence. The impure and unwholesome grain is barren and can be compared to our ego. When the seed of the ego is extracted for its oil, it is crushed and the result is only empty husks and straw. The true seed is born of the tree of life and in it lies the power of the beginning, the word of creation hidden in the earth of the unnamed God. To utter that word of the beginning is to be silent in one's ego. To attune inwardly to its radiations, it's like the sunflower that bathes in the rays of the sun, feeding on its light and warmth. The word of the beginning speaks in the universal language that every human being can understand. This word is nurturing and nourishing and satisfies every hunger. Take and eat. It will make your stomach bitter, but in your mouth it will be sweet as honey. The apocalypse is not the end but rather the creation and fulfillment of the beginning. The seven angels who sound the trumpet are the seven servants of spiritual humanity 
who will crush the false grains and raise the grains of truth, justice, wisdom and love. Thank you for listening and we hope you enjoyed it. If you wish to support us in reaching more people, like our posts, rate us with five stars on iTunes, leave a positive comment where you can, or share our content on your social media.